Welcome back to Elevate Her to Girl Jess Mars. And today's topic is about feminine energy, femininity, all the good stuff. So let's start with the Bible verse. She considers a field and buys it. From her profits, she plants a vineyard. That's Proverbs 31, 16. Another one that I really like is be submissive to your own husband as fitting in the Lord. That's 1 Peter 3, 1. So I have seen some stuff on TikTok. I've seen some stuff about feminine energy on TikTok. Now, look, in my opinion, we'll get to that later, what I think. I just want to say that when you go to the gym and, you know, training boxing doing all that stuff that is not feminine so don't do it absolutely stop it right now and if you're doing that like ill <laughs> i am joking that is i cannot believe i saw today something and this is a very well-known coach right feminine coach and she was talking about how you should not be going to the gym and training and lifting heavy if you want to be feminine what what that's all i have to say is what i don't understand what do you mean i was recently told i wasn't feminine by a man i don't even think he's a man actually let's just say a human because a man is amazing and it was so funny and the reason i think that person said it was because (laughs) they didn't know how to take direction which i found hilarious and for me i can't be submissive if you're not letting me feel safe it's just a thing and i'm sure a lot of women can say that if god literally wants women to submit to their own husbands can i just say so before you jump at me i do believe that women should submit to their husbands yes but to be in your feminine the man needs to be in his masculine how can a woman be in her feminine if the man wants to be feminine too babe no it doesn't even work that way one person has to be feminine the other person can be masculine we're not like i i want we want a man we want a masculine person and a masculine person isn't just someone that pays for things and is wealthy there's so much more to that whereas with femininity it's so much more than how you look (laughs) there are women that look so feminine but are not it's not only how you look yes how you look plays a big role in it but it's also how you talk your mentality, how are you, how you flow, not not going to the gym and lifting heavy. What is that? What is going on? I hear so many people say, oh, to be feminine, you just have to dress really cutely, be really skinny and wear pink lipstick. Pardon me? Babe, pink lipstick doesn't really suit me anyway. Like I, it doesn't give me color. I'm a nude girl. And I love going to the gym and I've been lifting heavier and I feel amazing and I still look cute doing it. So what are you even saying? I want to relate back to this Bible verse, the one that where, where it's Proverbs 31, 16, when it says, she considers a field and buys it from her profits and plants a vineyard. Now, a lot of people think that if you're a housewife, you're not working. Can I just say, being a housewife, even if you have a maid and even if you have someone helping your kids, there is still so much to do. He's basically saying in this phrase, in this verse, sorry, that she literally went, bought a vineyard and is resourceful with her money. A woman is smart when she needs to be. And I know a lot of people say, oh my God, I I always spend my money. But when it comes down to it, you'll be fine. Because women, we also have this intuition which comes back to feminine energy. Feminine energy is about using your intuition. It's about, some people say, oh, you have to speak like this to be more feminine. And when you do that, it just arouses the men. Oh my gosh. (laughs) I just feel like my love. Yes, I think speaking slower makes people want to lean in and listen more. But there's a, there's a point to how slow you want to speak. If I start talking like this, I really don't think that you would want to listen. And I'm not saying that you should talk really fast then. And I can't even do that because then I stutter. But I feel like you should talk how you talk. Don't change your voice just because you want to be more feminine. It's the aura that you radiate. It's the work you've done behind the scenes. When God talks about 
feminine energy, it's very soft, but it's also strong because women, we are so strong. Hello, how do people have babies? My friend is pregnant and she has two other kids. And I was literally saying to her, how, how, how? She's had a cesarean, but still how? That freaks me out, okay? I've never had kids. God willing, I will one day. But it freaks me out. Like, I want to be pregnant, but I'm scared to give birth. (laughs) I just find it terrifying. But yet, even though people find it terrifying, other women, we still do it because God's given us strength. Do you understand? Being feminine isn't just about being soft all the time. It's also about having boundaries. It's about saying no. Let's go through a few steps. So this is my opinion. Also, if you don't like it, that's fine. But clearly you're watching. So you're here for a reason. And these are all my opinions based off the Bible. Also, a feminine woman is soft. What is being soft? No, it's not only how you dress. It does play a role in it, but it is not only how you dress. It's how she talks. Even if you want to say no to someone, you don't have to be like, no. You're like, no, unbothered. She's just like, "Mm, no, no thanks. It's okay. She doesn't have to be mean. She's just firm. She's light, just like water. I, I like to relate feminine women as nature, right? It's so beautiful and it's peaceful and when the sun's out we're there and we're soaking it up but when you make her mad or when you make her a bit upset she starts to rain she starts to thunder she makes tsunamis you understand so it's like she does the damage but also she's so beautiful and sweet (laughs) so being soft speak softer when with your tone of voice it's your tone of voice not the voice itself but how it presents I'm a big believer in taking a few seconds to speak before you do because then you can think a bit better. The way you articulate your words plays a big role, in my opinion, in feminine energy, but also just makes you feel better, be better, be smarter and look smarter. Just putting that out there. So think before you rush and talk, okay? She's a bit slower. But she's not too slow. She's just a bit slower. You don't always have to be in a rush. A feminine woman, in my opinion, she's just like, she's calm. She's collected. If she needs to do something in a hurry, she will. But she floats. She's not stomping. Like, if you guys have brothers, do you ever sometimes hear them walk down the stairs? I'm not even kidding. When my brother walks down the stairs, I literally feel like the house is going to break because he's so heavy. But that's just him. He's a man. It's fine. Whereas when I walk down the stairs, it's not like you can just hear when my sister walks down the stairs because she's not heavy foot. Does that make sense? She's not. It's a different kind of strength. It's a different kind of I'm here. You know, it's like I'm here. Whereas boys are like, I'm here. (laughs) Another thing I believe feminine women have also based on the Bible is strength. Not only does this come down to pregnancy, which, by the way, we are so blessed to have this amazing gift but also i really believe i just need to always make sure it's working i need i really believe that it comes down to having boundaries it comes down to saying what's right even when it's not it doesn't feel right doing the right thing even when it doesn't feel like doing the right thing being able to prioritize money being able to prioritize and structure things sometimes when a man is hurting we think oh they're so strong and yes they are strong but they need a woman to be able to hold the strength so they can rely on her even though she's got a hundred different things she's thinking of she's strong enough to put that aside and make sure that her man or her friend or whoever is okay i'm not saying you should put yourself last because no but i'm saying when we have so much going on we still know how to make sure other people are okay I think that's strength. Strength is being able to raise children. Strength is being able to work and still look great, which comes down to appearance. <laughs> God actually tells us to take care of our body. Now, this might be controversial, but don't come for me. I'm just saying what I need to say. I really believe that we should take care and nourish our body because 
It is our temple. God has literally graced us with this beautiful shell that we get to call ours for a few years until our soul disintegrates into God willing heaven, right? So why should we treat it like garbage? We even treat garbage well. We put it in a bag and then we wash the bin. We're better to the rubbish sometimes than our own bodies. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't have some sweets because I like sweets. I'm saying make sure that this is okay. Your temple is okay. Feed it with good foods. The 80-20 rule, my brother always says, 80% good, 20% whatever you want. It's about a balance, you know, even not like shaming the way you look all the time. Now, that is something I struggled with for so long. But feminine women, women, (laughs) feminine women know how important their body is. They know that it is a temple. They know they should take care of it. And let's be real for a sec. When you take care of your body and you look good, do you not believe that people treat you better? Unfortunately, it's just the truth. I don't care when people say no quality. It is just a fact. It really is. And I'm not saying when you don't look good, people treat you bad. No, but I'm saying you will get better treatment from mainly men, but also women too. And people in general, when you look good. A feminine woman truly takes care of the way she looks. Now that goes back into the inside. Let's talk about internally, right? So God tells us to be humble and to submit. And obviously the men are more stronger and that's fine. You can be strong. (laughs) I'm strong when you're not around, but when you're around, I'm weak. (laughs) I have no hands. Basically, I, I believe a feminine woman doesn't, she's not like in your face consistently. She doesn't need to. She doesn't need to be the loudest one. She doesn't also need to be the softest one. She's just her. Doing the inner work to heal that usually is when you don't have a masculine man in your life or even a man in your life for, for your whole life. Usually what women do is we take the leadership in everything. We try to do everything ourselves. We are just like, no, no, I can do it better. I can do it better. Let me do it. I want to do a hundred things at once because that's just me. We're in charge a lot. And I'm not saying that being masculine is bad because as women, I really do believe as well, we need some masculine energy hence to work, to make decisions. That's all masculine energy, right? To be in your feminine is to receive, to allow. She just sits back just like the water and she just lets the waves do its thing. She doesn't need to force it. See what I'm saying? It's very, it's almost like sitting on a chair that's stable and knowing that you can lean as far back as you want because the the chair is going to hold you down. The man is a chair, by the way. (laughs) God is in both of you. But the man is a chair. He's a secure one. He's giving you safety, security, you know. And then we're sitting, leaning all the way back and allowing the chair to take us on a ride because we are so safe and secure. Being able to receive as a woman can be very hard when you have been in your masculine energy for so long because you almost feel like, one, you might feel bad. Bella's agreeing with me. You might feel bad. You might feel like, okay, they've given me something. I need to give something back. It's almost like we feel guilty as well a lot of the time because we don't feel deserving. And that's why I really believe when you talk to God and when you seek God and when you read his word, you realize how important women are. You realize how perfectly structured women are. That's why men are meant to be the leaders. Because women, we lead from a different way. We lead from here in our soul. Doing the inner work is truly being able to allow God to heal your soul. And it's not like a magic pill that you're like, God, please heal me. And then it's healed. No. When you ask God to heal you, declare it's done. Be like, God, you have healed me and I am grateful. I believe that shadow work and all that stuff is great. But can I be completely real for a second? I feel like when you do it, you're not going to be magically fixed. Coming down to the root of the problem, more times than not, just makes you sometimes think about it a lot. If you feel like you need to talk to someone about that, go for it. Otherwise, God knows everything that he's given you and he's given you that for a reason. 
It's because women, we are strong enough to deal with it and to grow from it. And God has a better purpose for us. But so many times we focus so much on the shadow work and on the healing work as opposed to making sure that our soul is okay. And sometimes, yes, you do have to come back to something and you realize where the problem is, but it's about making a decision to be better. So for example, if one of your shadow work questions or a question about your past that keeps coming up is, I don't feel worthy of receiving. I don't feel worthy of receiving gifts. I want gifts or I want help from people, but I don't feel worthy to receive. And that's obviously a block in your feminine energy, right? So you can go back to your old, you know, when you were a child or something and you can be like, okay, where does this stem from? For example, it might be, I never really had a male figure in my life and I feel like I was always giving, giving, giving. And the only time someone could give to me was a family member, a distant family member or someone that wasn't really close to me. And my mom always would say, when someone gives you something, give them something back. So it stems from that, right? Now that you've got that in your head, you're like, okay, what can I do now to fix this issue? I can do one thing at a time. For example, it can be, okay, I'm going to allow a guy to open the door. I, that's how I started. <laughs> I was like, okay, how can I actually receive without feeling guilty and also not being like, okay, what can I give you? Because you just bought me this bag. Well, I have no money. I don't know what to give you now. That's how I used to think, right? When guys would buy me things. So I was like, when I really wanted to tap into my feminine energy, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to allow a guy to open my door because I would never allow. I would just do it myself. It was just a thing, right? It's the whole mentality. Like I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. Ah, no, thank you. So I would literally walk a bit slower if there was a guy I could see coming to the door or if I could see from the other side or if a guy was behind me, I'd walk a bit slower, allow him to come first and he would open the door and I would just be like, thank you. Being feminine is also being respectful and kind. So when a man does something for you or when someone does something for you, it's not hard to say thank you. It's not hard to show appreciation being feminine is also being kind, being nurturing, allowing people to feel that aura inside of you. Like, oh, she's so she's so sweet. But can I also say, I'll come back to that because I wanna I wanna touch on another fun thing about feminine energy. It's something we all all forget. Okay? Because we're too serious all the time. We need to calm down all of us. Let a guy open the door for you. If someone offers to help you with something, let them. And even though inside you feel guilty, just remind yourself, no, I deserve this. Why, why should I not deserve this? What makes me no good? What makes me no better than anyone? If someone's offering to help you, oh, you know what I used to do as well all the time and I, I still do it to now. So when I was really in my feminine energy, I'm like, okay, when I go to the gym, even though I lift heavy, not really upper body, uh, let's be honest, like my legs are much heavier than my upper body. I'm stronger down there. As you can tell, <laughs> I would struggle putting plates on because one it's heavy and two it's hard clearly I'm not great at my upper body I'm much better than I was before so I did this thing where I was like you know what I'm gonna ask men to help me okay and I made it a fun thing because I'm like I also want to stroke their ego so I would ask guys but I'd make it fun in a game if they could carry my weight right if they could help me so what I used to do was I would literally just go up to a guy that would be free I wouldn't interrupt him during his set because that's also very rude I would go up to him and be like excuse me do you mind helping me with this plate you're just actually I would just leave it like that I'm like do you mind helping me with this plate like I, it's just so hard so they'd put on I'm like oh thank you so much you, oh I'm like thank you you took two seconds that would have taken me so much longer even though it was so out of my comfort zone <laughs> one it did take so quick and two they felt useful and I'm telling you, they always felt better to the point where I had to stop asking because people just kept helping me. It still happens till now because I feel like once you allow that to happen, it's just almost like an energy comes out and people aren't scared to help you. And if you feel like they are scared to help you, just ask. Literally, the worst that's going to happen is they're going to say no. Go ask someone else. Obviously, wait until they're free. Don't like actually interrupt them. But this comes down to my other point about feminine energy. So make sure that you allow and ask. Don't be afraid to ask, right? Be playful. Be fun. Let's, let's be honest. Women, we take things very seriously. 
we really do we we really really do especially when we're in a relationship or when it's serious time we get really serious and i'm i'm not trying to say that we shouldn't there are time there are time and place for serious things but what happens to the little kid in us i love being goofy i love being fun i love it it's just when we were kids we didn't care about a lot of things we just wanted to have fun right we wanted to play outside, lay on the grass, do the random thing, play WWE with our brothers. <laughs> I did that all the time. That was very boyish, but I don't care. It's so I still wrestle with him all the time. Literally, no one believes that I wrestle with my brother, but I am not kidding. We do it so much that like it gets to a point where we like one of us gets too hurt. Mainly, actually, it could be me too. And then we decide, okay, let's stop, let's stop. Like no one believes it. Why? Because I, I look very sweet and petite. I am. But I also know how to have fun, you know? And obviously there are some things I wouldn't want to do. But for the most part, I just love having a laugh. I love laughing. I love being playful. I love being a bit cheeky, a bit fun, a bit flirty. That's feminine energy. She's fun. She's light. She's just like a little fairy floating around. And if you make her angry, she gives you a little sprinkle and she runs away. Not she flies away. Sorry, no one. We don't like to run over here. So be playful. And if you forgot how that feels like, do something that is fun for you. And it will bring out that little kid in you and then you'll just have fun more. Okay. And I'm not saying if you're talking to a guy and all he's doing is making jokes about you, leave him first of all. But if a guy is trying to have a laugh with you and it's not offensive or anything like that, it's not bad to just laugh. I always say my brother is the best because when my sister and I bicker, we need someone to intervene and just make it light. Like even when me and him fight, fight, we rarely do. But when we do, he'll make a comment or he'll say something that makes me laugh and I get annoyed that it's funny and then I laugh and then we get over it because he knows if I'm laughing, I can't be angry at you now, you know? So sometimes laughing is the best way to be just chill. Of course, have your boundaries, which is my next point. A feminine woman still has her boundaries. She's not going to sit there and let a guy pick her up at 11 p.m. at night just because he wants to see her. No, sorry. She has her boundaries. She's like, no, I, I don't talk to guys past this time. Or she doesn't even reply. She's like, I'm, I'll message tomorrow. Oh, I'm, I'm not on my phone after that time. You know, she's not afraid to say what her boundaries are in a nice way, in a cute feminine way. It can even be a bit of a joke, but it's also real. (laughs) It's just fun. I think out of everything, it's honestly just being true to yourself. As feminine women, we we are literally designed to be that. With men, they are not designed to be masculine. They have masculine traits like hunting and all that. But there's a lot of things that they need to be built into. Whereas with women, we have this intuition that just allows us to be free, allows us to be relaxed, allows us to be fertile. That's why when you're on your periods, next time do this, honestly, when you're on your periods next time, notice that how many men give you attention or talk to you or approach you. I don't know how they know, but when you're fertile, so when you're on your periods, it's literally like men just are like mosquitoes attracted to you. It's wild because we don't feel that great and we have cramps and there's a lot of things happening and yet they're always looking, giving us attention, smiling. It's, I, I don't understand it. I really don't. I, till now, I don't get it, but that's okay. We don't need to get some stuff. It's fine. But I just had to put that in there because that was really funny. Don't think too much about what feminine energy is because feminine, we, we are just women. We are being, we are her. We are her. And for all these feminists that say, nope equal rights men you know can stay at home and women can work 24 7 and have a baby good for you my love this feminine energy over here is different (laughs) we are happy to relax and if we want to work we work because we do what makes us happy yeah and when you are truly in your feminine you'll be surprised at how much comes to you because you have an abundant mindset because you have a better mentality because you are more free because you are happy joyful you look at the better side of things there's a saying that behind every successful man there's a woman 
How do you think that happened? Because she's in her feminine. Feminine women don't all look the same. I have to say there's not one stereotype of, okay, feminine women all are like petite and wear pink dresses and stuff like that, even though I love that. But no, feminine women come in all different shapes and sizes. They come in all different looks, all different ways. And they're still so feminine. So please don't be discouraged just because you see someone that looks so feminine because you don't know how she really is. And sometimes I'm sure you do see some feminine women appearance wise, but there's something about them that you're like, oh, I still feel very reserved. I feel closed off from her. Maybe she's just looking the part because she's still doing the inner part, you know? And yes, it can take time. But not that long. I really believe if you want to make the change, you can make the change and start tomorrow. It's about doing one thing at a time. So choose what you want to do. Do you want to have more fun? Do you want to talk nicer? Do you want to have more boundaries? Do you want to start allowing people to do nice things for you? What is that? Do you want to dress differently? Find a style that actually works for you. Put a little bit of makeup on. It can be gloss. Look, if you're a lazy person with makeup, like my sister, I love her, wear a tinted sunscreen. It's the best thing. It gives you color. Put a lip balm on. That makes your lips shiny. Brush your eyebrows up. You didn't even need to put makeup on, but you still are glowing. You see what I mean? It's just these little things that really elevate your look. Get your teeth widened. It makes the biggest difference when you smile. A smile is very alluring. Anyhow, I just want to say don't stress too much about feminine energy because it is something that we are born with that we just forget because we get put in masculine roles. Having a bit of masculinity isn't a bad thing, especially when it comes to men, because in order for us to submit to our men, he must first allow us to submit. We don't submit and just be like, yes, boss, anything you want. That is not what submission is. Submission is when your husband says something because you trust him so much, you're like, okay. You know, like you, you can drive. You can do what you need to do, boo. <gasps> yeah, you want to work, that's fine. <laughs> I'll make you dinner, don't worry about it. It's fun, it's flirty, it's kind, it's caring. If you If you make her angry, you don't need to be raging and all that kind of stuff. You can just calm yourself down because... Hello, that's what we need to do. We need to focus on ourselves, calm ourselves down a bit, give us 10, 15 minutes to relax. And then we tell the person how they made us feel if they're worthy of that. And then it's either you, we fix the problem together or I'm not here. It's quite simple. And make sure when you say something, you do it. I just have to say that. Your word is very important for a man or woman. Anyway, my loves, I really hope you enjoy this episode. Don't stress, don't listen to all these like crazy things that you hear online. It's so simple, it's so easy, it's fun, it's flirty, have fun, move your body, dance. Dancing is actually such a powerful way to allow your beautiful body to just, you don't think when you dance. Next time you dance, let me know how much you're thinking. Your body just flows and that's the best part about women. We embody our body because it gives life. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next episode.